everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We left off on a bit of a cliffhanger yesterday getting introduced to uh, someone who's going to introduce us to Uthar, not Uthar Pendragon, but however, he's going to introduce us to Uthar, the head of the Academy, of the Sith Academy. So anyway, now that this intro's out of the way, the video will start momentarily. Greetings, prospective oh, are students. You a it appears we have a late entry. Are you a pure blood Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. Promising? Promising? I, that one's not worthy to lick spit off your shoes, Master. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? Um... Uh, I know the Sith are powerful, the Sith are evil, the Sith do what they want and pay no heed to do your discipline. I know that the Sith are powerful, this is very neutral, like whoop, so they're powerful, a force to be reckoned with. A diplomatic yeah. answer, <laughs> if not the core of the matter. <laughs> Our power is obvious. The question in truth goes much deeper than the surface. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy, all so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans oh. and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? He looks like a Sith purebled. Oh, and what of my companions? They're actually my slaves. Sort of. Let's pre we're pretending. Hmm. We could have. Oh, I wonder. Power without consideration of morality is a weakness. I wonder if I could debate him. His voice is so like soothing. It's like lulling me into like. I don't know, a sense of, like, maybe what he's saying is right. This will be interesting. But power without consideration of morality is a weakness. <laughs> yes! You are brave to argue, young one. I have met few students who would speak so openly to me. Ask yourself first what this morality is. How is it created? Who does it benefit? Where do your notions of good and evil come from? You may come to the realization that morality is but an obstacle to overcome. Or not. The discovery is yours to make, should you be ready. Aha. Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted Only to the one. Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year ah. and try again. Okay. If you survive. My pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me it. It will be rewarded. I already know it! The rest I is for it. you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here. I already know it. 
Where there is passion, there is strength. Where there is strength, there is power. Where there is power, there is victory. Is that right? Did I do that in the right order? Power, victory. I think so. Kick their butts, don't fall for it. I'll try. I'll try not to fall for it. Okay, we got the way of the Sith. Oh yeah, we have that too. Can be gained by speaking. We have to, we have to talk to you there more. Peace is a lie. That's right. Peace is a lie. Um, is that is that in the beginning or at the end? Peace is a lie. Passion is and where there's victory, there's ice cream and milkshakes. That's what I used to get when I was younger, and I'd win a softball game. We would go out for milkshake. This is my room. You guys get to stay in my room with me. How lucky for you. <gasps> Dark Jedi night robe. Oh, cool. Okay, I'm actually already wearing run one, but let's see if this one is better. Uh, no, my current one is actually better. Okay. Save. I know, right? Welcome to the dark side, my children. <laughs> Welcome to dark side. Sid. <laughs> Welcome to Dark Sid. We have cookies. Oh no, yeah, I noticed immediately. So like you've got like the ancient pots going on, like this is an ancient temple we're staying in. I'm so excited. Oh wow, there's like no privacy really. Ah, oh, there you are. My favorite prospect oh, for the I, year. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. She's she's buttering me up. She's actually expecting me to fail, I, I'm pretty sure. Absolutely. By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. I don't know, others. that other girl seemed pretty As motivated. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like We're to We're gonna hear? betray your master, huh? Uh, absolute, but I don't even have any prestige yet. Yet, being the operative term. As I said, you have my utmost I'm confidence. I'm suspicious! As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Sneaky! Once that occurs, he will take you to the <gasps> Valley of the Dark Lords, to the tomb of Nagasado, to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone <gasps> with him. The perfect time to... Shall we say arrange for a change in the I academy's knew leadership? It. I knew it. I knew it. This is. I told you. This is the problem with the Sith. Like as a whole, is like the is the apprentices like ganging up on the masters. What's so important about this tomb? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years <gasps> ago That's by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Yeah, oh! You don't say. Well, the master loves tombs, don't you, master? Reaching that map as they did is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is Jolie important. Jolie is a treasure. Jolie is an absolute treasure. And he is never, ever going to let me live this down. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Candorous, I'm surprised Candor doesn't make any snarky comments. I think, I think since I brought out Candorous and Jolie, my two snarkiest people, that if I had brought anybody else with me and Candorous, Candorous would be the one making snarky comments. But Jolie, in his wisdom and, and longevity, wins out by a small margin over the snarkiness of Candorous by virtue of him being an older man. <laughs> He's so... Oh my gosh. HK isn't snarky in the same way. H oh, HK though. HK would be probably saying exactly the same stuff he normally does. So they call seniority? He has he has seniority snark. That's what Joe Lee has. He's like... He's gonna get us caught though. He is so gonna get us caught. Naga Sato could make stars go Nova? Well, Naga means snake. So that's interesting. And then shadow is like one one letter off from shadow. So like snake shadow or something maybe. Oh, what's... How do I know this isn't some kind of test? <laughs> you must not know much about the Sith yet. 
If Uthar were even to suspect that I might be trying to supplant Uthar him, Pendragon. true or not, well, let's just say he wouldn't likely stop to ask too many questions before ensuring I was dealt with. Uthar, Uthar Pendragon is uh, the name of um, uh, King uh, King Arthur's father, like from Camelot. That's interesting. I wonder if that was done intentionally. Uh, what's to stop me from telling him about this? I suppose you could do that. Even the hint of betrayal from his pupil and Uthar would move to eliminate me. But this is a very good opportunity for you. You can start off your Sith career as the right hand of the head of the Academy. Me, Uthar will not offer you that. Do you believe Uthar would not be aware of this? He would quickly figure out what you have to gain by betraying him, and would never believe someone would pass that up. Tell Master uh. Uthar what you wish. Were I you, I would think first of what the consequences of such an action might be. Oh man, we're playing the politics here. Uh, what's your part in this? My part in this is to help you gain enough prestige and slow down the progress of the other hopefuls. I want you in that tomb when the time is right. We destroy Master Uthar together and I take his place. And you take your place at my side. A beautiful plan in its sheer simplicity. It's happened for like millennia with the Sith. Everybody does that. Uther has to be expecting it a little bit. Um, and I don't know. I feel like I, I don't really want to. As 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 cool as this lady is, and like as much as I like, kind of want to like side with her just for kicks and giggles. Because also not kicks and giggles, but because I really really think she's really cool. Um. I don't know, a part of me, I guess the other part of me is like, it's not the Sith way to do things, but I'm not a Sith. So if I'm thinking like a Jedi, then I need maybe taking out, taking out an actually powerful Sith master and replacing with one who is weaker because she required my help to do it. Wouldn't be a bad thing. Uh... uh bleh. Uh, you want me to kill him? Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I'm asking you to perform the task alone, or as if you will get nothing out of it. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. Man, but I kind of don't want to just because it doesn't seem very honorable. Like, I, that's just me. And I kind of like Uthar for what he is, anyway. Hmm. Okay, you have time to learn more about the situation. You can betray her if you want. That's what I was kind of thinking. I can say very well I agree, and then I can still go tell... I was hoping that my one of my options would include I could tell Uthar, or maybe at the last minute I could decide not to, you know? Like, and be like, nope, she's the one who did it, ha ha, you know? So I think my best option here is to agree, get her help a little bit, and then see where it goes. Very well, I agree. I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. Of course, sexy lady. How do I get more prestige? You must impress Master Uthar. Go to him with news of your deeds, or artifacts you have discovered. Artifacts. The first and easiest way would be for you to learn the code of the Sith and speak it to him. I can teach you that, if you like. Shall I go on? Tell me about the code. I can help you understand it. Would you like to hear? Oh, yes. Peace is a lie. Yes. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? I do remember it pretty well because I think listening, I was I audiobooked the Bane trilogy and he said that a lot. Peace is a lie, there is only passion. The Jedi would have you believe that peace is a desirable goal. That peace of the spirit is the way the Force is mastered. That a lack of conflict betters man. We know different. It is our passion our hate and our desire that fuels the force. 
It is conflict that improves the lot of civilization and single being both. Conflict forces one to better oneself. It forces change, growth, adaption, evolution, or death. These are not our laws, but the universe's. Without conflict, you have only stagnation. I've actually heard that theory before. This way, if I if I weren't being sneaky, you'd be running around here killing everyone anyway, right? Like, I feel like this is kind of a test of me, like, being able to, like, like, I don't know, word my way through a little bit, you know? Like, I was surprised there at one point, they, they actually gave me the option to persuade lie or just to persuade when I was asking to get into the Jedi Academy. So persuade lie meant that, yes, I want to get in, but I'm secretly doing it undercover. But persuade just meant, yes, I want to be a Jedi, you know? Through passion, I gain strength. What fuels your power with the Force but your passion? The stronger, darker emotions. Anger, hatred, fear. These passions empower us. What about love? Woo -woo. Love is more dangerous than all those things. Love leads to anger and hatred more often than not. But it also leads to mercy, which is far worse. That, however, is a lesson for another time. Uh, these seem like awfully negative passions. Negative? Compared to what? What keeps even the most rudimentary creature alive? Fear to run. Anger to fight. Without it, a creature would most surely die. Are you saying we aren't anything more than a rudimentary creature? We are far more than them, perhaps. But in some ways, we are little different. To think us creatures beyond the need of simple passions is a delusion. Yeah, Jedi say the opposite. How can both be right? The Force gives us all power, even the Jedi. It is our mastery of our passion that gives us the strength they lack. I see. It is our goal to be stronger, to achieve our potential and not rest upon our laurels. <laughs> we are the Seekers, not the Shepherds. That's an appealing thing to say, actually. We're the Seekers. Peace is a lie. There is... Oh, no, wait, we already did that. Through strength, I... Gain power. The stronger you become in the Force, the more power you will achieve. But always must you fight for your power. Without strife, your victory has no meaning. Without strife, you do not advance. Without strife... There is only stagnation. Mm. You've missed these long distance conversations, right? We're so far away. Like, we were discussing betraying her mentor, the leader of the academy, from like 20 feet away. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Nobody notices. Through power, I gain victory. How many sorts of victories can you imagine? Peaceful victory. Victory by sacrifice, a truce, an achievement. Unless the victory is achieved by demonstrating that your power is superior, it is only an illusion, temporary at best. We seek more. Mm, through victory, my chains are broken. This has been argued over and often. The chains represent our restrictions, both those placed upon us and those we place upon ourselves. Ultimately, the goal of any Sith is to free herself from such restrictions. In a way, it is so we may do whatever we wish. But it is much more than that. One who has freed themselves from all restrictions has face. reached perfection. Their potential fulfilled. Perfect strength, perfect power, perfect destiny. Imagine it. That is our ideal, at any rate. It is said in Sith legend that the Sithari, the perfect <gasps> being, will one day lead no. us. But perhaps that is just a legend. You don't think the Sithari can exist? I wonder what that being would be like. The old people, or the, the old ones. The legends say the Sithari will destroy us and make us stronger than Maybe. ever. Maybe. But perhaps oh, that is just the Sarmat people. Perfection is a goal, I think, rather than a state of being. The Jedi would argue that, no doubt. Uh, it might be like the Starmat people. The Force shall free me. The Force is our servant and our master, our teacher and our companion, a weapon and a tool. Know it, and you know the universe. Master it, and you master the universe. Strive for perfection, and the Force shall reward you. It's strange just how much Bane 
books took ideas from Coder. Well, the author isn't the author Drew Carption who worked on the game. Like he kind of or at least was in this he was at BioWare, so it makes sense. Uh or maybe not. Drew Carp, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, Drew Carption, the author, I mean, I think Drew Carption was the author for the Bane books, and he also w worked on Mass Effect. And I'm pretty sure, up until recently, he had, he had left Bioware before Mass Effect 3, and that's kind of what people caused, thought people caused some of the problems. Yeah, he wrote the Bane trilogy, and he, yeah, he wrote the Mass Effect books, like a lot of the Mass Effect books. He worked on Mass Effect 1 and 2, and when he came back again for a few years, he was working on more Star Wars content. I think he left like a year ago again from Bioware. During the Exodus, he left. But yeah, he worked with them. I think he also, he worked on Star Wars first and then Mass Effect. I think I got it. I am not surprised. The Force is strong with you. Master it and it shall serve you well. Want to know more about those ruins on the surface. I have been involved in the work there over the last couple of years, but not often. Most of the excavating is left to the students. What did you wish to know? Uh, why are the Sith so interested in these ruins? We could learn much about the history of the ancient Sith, why they were on Korriban, and why they left. Perhaps we could learn more about the origin of the Force itself. <sighs> With that knowledge could come great power. That would actually be really cool. I've always kind of wondered, like, the Force is just sort of this, like, nebulous, like, woo thing. Is there any way into the tomb of Naga Sa Sado? Not unless you are accompanied by Master Uthar. No, it is strictly forbidden. And I truly doubt you could bypass the doors to the tomb with anything less than ship blasters. Even then, perhaps. There's no other way inside? None. I do not even know how Master Uthar gains entrance, to tell the truth. Though I look forward to discovering that fact. I have searched many times, so do not bother. There is no other way. Do not fret, however. Simply get the prestige you need, ah, and you will I see mean, the tomb it, soon enough. Uh, how did Revan... It was, isn't this a tomb Revan and Malik went into recently? Like, or something? Like a few years ago? So there's gotta be another way in. Or they just figured out how to open the front door. I've heard enough. As you wish. Tell me about yourself. About myself? I'm originally from Slaheron, if you must know. I was a slave to a cruel master, Omish the Hutt. I'm sure you don't need to know more. Okay, I'll be going. You have had an excellent start. Go. Gain more prestige. Of course, we have a, a, a female Twi'lek, and her backstory is that she was a slave. Like, we couldn't have anything else more creative. <laughs> Hi, you're kind of new to the streams, not my content, but you never get your stream. Per uh, Prince, Prince, v Prince V, Prince Vi, welcome, welcome to the streams. Uh, have you watched? You said you you're not new to my content. Have you watched the YouTube stuff then? That's so crazy! That's really cool! Thank you so much for deciding to hop in and join a stream for a bit. I'm doing pretty well. How are you doing? I'm just, I'm like, oh my, thank you so much. Okay, okay, I can do this. We're gonna wander around and look, and look at things. Oh, we can talk to, hang on. Okay. Oh, he's meditating, I think? I'm really surprised they're letting me have my companions with me. I remember you from the colony. You seem all right, though you'll not win the right to train before me. Uh, who are you? You don't remember? My name is Lasho. We met in the colony ever so briefly. I'm trying to become a Sith as well. It seems like a dumb question. Just figure that out, did yeah. you? <laughs> it just so happens that I have a surefire way of pulling ahead in this little contest of ours. You don't really have a chance. Daddy's money? And what way is that? I found an artifact that will impress Uthar far more than anything you could ever scrounge up. I'll win for sure. Why haven't you brought it to Uthar yet? 
I don't have it just yet. Oh, okay. I'll get it when I'm good and ready. Okay. Where is this artifact? <laughs> like I would tell you. Why don't I just let you rob me while you're at it? It's guarded, isn't it? So what if it is? I'll get it eventually, regardless. Nothing good comes without a bit of a fight. That's the Sith motto, more or less. Persuade lie, maybe I can help you get it, hmm. Now where are you going with this, I wonder? Shut up, old man. <laughs> and don't spoil anything or I'll twist that scrawny neck of yours. It was just an idle question. Don't get so testy, Wow. It. Help me get it? I don't know. Hmm. I suppose I could use some help. The artifact I know of certainly won't be easy to take. But why should I work with you? Because, uh, I don't know. I kind of just want to steal it from her. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't really want to work with her to get it, because then I feel like I'll have to kill her. And what's the point? Nah, I don't... Mm. Eh, 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 whatever. Fine by Bye. me. I don't care. I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna do my own thing. If nothing else, I have the code, which is supposed to be the most impressive thing. Woohoo! If it isn't the freak from the colony. Hello, what? freak. What? Did, get lost, nerf herder. You won't get lost. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> Peace. Uh, where was my room? Oh boy, I don't know. Can't keep track of any of this. It's a bad year to try and become a Sith, you know. I've got it all oh, wrapped yeah? up. What makes you so, so sure? You think I would tell you? Have my brain started dribbling out of my nose or something? You can at least give me a hint. I could, but what would be the point in that? See you around, chum. <laughs> chum. Can I steal from you? No, okay. I would love, but we're gonna be able to punch these guys eventually, don't worry. You take a wrong turn somewhere? Ooh. Oh! Oh! Ooh! Oh! I knew I recognized the voice, and he looked familiar, and I was like, wait, wait a second, he wasn't one of the Sith candidates, and then I recognized his name! It's Karth's son! Oh my gosh! Who are you? The name's Dustil. I'd satisfy your curiosity enough? Uh, Dustil, as in Dustil, oh nice. I Maybe I shouldn't be talking to him. So you know my last name, so what? Uh, I have to go. Well, don't let me okay, keep Okay, time to go back, hang on, okay, hang on. Oh, can't, ch can't change my party members from here. Uh, crap, I don't know, should I? Uh, mm, okay, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna save. And then I'm gonna talk to him because bringing Karth here might cause a an issue. Bringing Karth here might cause an issue. Uh, that's still. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Okay. Hang on. Okay. You take a wrong turn yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Basically, can I ask you? Hang on. Uh, questions? As if I'm not busy enough with my own work. Go pester someone else with your stupid questions. Who, who are you? The name's yeah. Dust. Dustal. Uh huh. So uh, how'd you end up at the academy? What? What is with the questions? My life is none of your business, so get lost. Are you Carthonicized, son? No. Uh, I'm not. I don't know who you're talking uh, about. Are you sure? Look, I don't want to hear that name ever again. Ever. Do you understand me? Now get lost. <gasps> we have to bring Carth. We have to bring Carth down here. Oh no. This is gonna cause some shenanigans, though. I didn't think we were gonna fight Dustal in here. What the frig? Uh, where do I have to go? There's so many places to go that I haven't gone. Oh, oh, oh! Hello. Ah. Uh... On it. Damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't think so. Let's just not tell Karth, right? We could just, I mean, we could just not tell Karth. Hey, did I talk? Yeah, I did, right? Did I talk to you? I don't think I did, actually. Whoa. I hear screaming vaguely in the background. Oh, uh, hello. I don't remember seeing you here before. My name is Kel. Kel Alder. Undercover Jedi. Is something wrong? I, oh, uh, 
Nothing. Uh, are you sure? Uh, yes. My master always says I'm too trusting, too willing to show weakness. You're a Sith, so I, I really shouldn't, you know. I can't persuade you to tell me? Uh, no. No, I, I really can't. A, a Sith, like you, would use any means to succeed. But I'm not a Sith yet. Oh, I know that. I mean, you aren't yet, but you intend to be. I mean, you're just like everyone else here. And you're not? Well, I, 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 I didn't mean it like that. Well, how'd you mean it then? I, I shouldn't trust you. I, I can't trust you. Can I? Sure you can. No, oh, oh, no, okay. I shouldn't bother you with it. Forget I said anything. All right, sit yourself. Uh, well, good luck with your training. Okay. Should I try Valor Boost? Uh, which way was it? Was it this way? Let's see. Yes. Heal Night Valor. Hmm? On it. Damn! Nope. Alright, maybe I can try persuading that kid. Shoot, where was he? Uh. Crap, it's such a freaking maze in here. There we go. I can hear screaming. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, hello again. Something wrong? I... Oh. Are you sure? Uh, he... I can't persuade you to tell me? Uh... I'm not a Sith yet. Oh, I know. And you're not? Well, I... I, I... How'd you mean it? I... I... Yes, you can. I, I did just it! I don't feel I belong here. I thought maybe I did at first, but now... I don't know. I just have so many doubts. Uh... If it doesn't feel right, then perhaps you don't belong here. But where would I go then? What would I do? Uh, it doesn't matter. Have you considered that the dark side just isn't your way? Uh, yeah, maybe Wait, you're right. no, 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 that's not. Uh, oh, no. I'll go and tell Master Uthar that I'm not ready for this. Uh, maybe it won't be so bad. Thank, thank I you. I just, uh, wow. No, oh boy, kid. Oh boy. No, oh, I just signed this kid's death warrant. Uh,. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> You're not gonna live. No. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh no. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Oh wait. Uthar's right here. Oh. Okay. Hello? Uh, I guess I could talk to him if I wanted to do the thing, but I don't want to do the thing yet. Sorry, I don't have time to speak. My training waits. Okay. He was vaporized, yeah, right? He was definitely vaporized. Oh, that's outside. Um... I kind of want to go outside and mess around and, like, look through ancient ruins and stuff. And then come back and blow everybody's pants off with my retelling of the code. And there you have it, with me running around like a chicken with my head cut off because we found Dustal, which is pretty big deal for Karth and us. So hopefully you all are enjoying, and I hope to see you in the next one.